latest collaboration between Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani shows their love is alive. In memory of the late mother-daughter country duo Naomi Judd and Winona Judd, Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton recorded a touching cover of the Judd's Love is Alive. Love is seeing Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani once more be relationship goals. The vocalists recently worked together on a song of the Judd's Love is Alive for the upcoming album, A Tribute to the Judd's, which pays tribute to Winona Judd and Naomi Judd, a mother-daughter country pair who committed suicide in April 2022 at the age of 76. The country singer and just a girl performer Gwen took over the lead vocals on the original song, which was featured on the Judd's 1984 hit album Why Not Me. Blake provided the harmonies. The two brilliantly sing the chorus, which begins, Love is alive, and at our breakfast table, every day of the week, love is alive, and it grows every day and night, even in our sleep. The new album, which will be made available on BMG on October 27th in celebration of the musical group's 40th anniversary, features Love is Alive as its first song. And the song is especially appropriate for Gwen and Blake, who married in July 2021, less than a year after the God's Country singer proposed. Blake, 47, and Gwen, 53, originally dated in 2015 after serving as co-judges on The Voice. The two became close because of their divorces at the time. Blake was divorcing Miranda Lambert, whom he married in 2011, and he recalls telling Gwen about it. He told Billboard, I won't forget that day in 2016. I noticed Gwen, whom I didn't know well, was crying when I turned to face her. Wow, she feels very bad for me, I thought. Gwen might be able to identify with the heartache. The former member of No Doubt divorced husband Gavin Rossdale in 2016. They have three children together, Kingston, 17, Zuma, 14, and Apollo, 9. That day was kind of the beginning of our connection and bond, said Blake. From there, it progressed to checking in on each other through email once a week, this s-t happened to me, what happened to you? To perhaps three times a week, then every day, to saying things like, hey, here's my phone number if you ever want a text. The next thing I know, she is everything to me, and I'm wondering if she feels the same way about me. In 2021, she raved to Stellar magazine, calling Blake the best guy. I look the best I've ever looked in my life in those photos when I look back over the past few years and look at pictures of when I first started kissing Blake. Continue reading to see some of Gwen and Blake's sweetest statements about one another if you just can't get enough of their romance.